The showcase is, it's a, in one sense, it's the culmination of the year, I suppose. It's, you know, you're showing it to the public, to agents, to publishers. In another sense, it's a, it's a bridge. It's quite a scary bridge as well sometimes because we, over the year or years that you've been with us, we provide the nurturing and the help. We're aiming to improve you as a writer, but then comes the dreadful moment where, you know, you've got to step outside this bubble into the real world because the people who you're reading to at the showcase are, you know, they're there for one reason and one reason only, and that is, do they think they can shift your work? We're really lucky to have Philip Pullman, who's agreed to, for the last two years, to be our front man for the whole event. Because obviously having him, having someone as big as that, means that agents and publishers from London are going to be far more willing to you know, drop everything and come to Oxford when they know that he's, uh, he's putting his name to it. Among the creative writing courses I've seen, and I've seen quite a lot now, the one I've seen at um, Oxford Brooks is certainly one of the best. Hello, uh, I'm Matthew Hodgkinson. I finished last year and I've just been reading. Uh, I came upstairs and was like, this, uh, which is just really promising. Um, you know, I just need to carry on and write my novel and then I can at least know that there's someone who will look at it for me, which is, which is brilliant stuff, so I'm really interested. We decided to hold the showcase in a professional public theatre the Pegasus Theatre in Oxford rather than in a lecture theatre here in the university because we feel that's appropriate for an event which is really all about introducing our writers to the wider world. Um, it's also a very pleasant coincidence that Philip Pullman should be using the Philip Pullman stage to do it on. Um, but obviously the lighting, the sound, the seating, it all makes for a really a sort of exciting and professional feeling evening. It's really clear to everyone concerned that these are not students anymore. These are people out there looking to make a living at it, looking to offer something into the commercial world, which is very important. It's only one night in the life of the students and one night in the life of the course, but everyone starts to feel in about March, this is the big build up to it. This is the big night. This is where you step outside this comfortable, nurturing bubble and really are looking the real world in the eye. So it's, it's a great night all round.